Hi, my name is Alexis. I'm an aesthetic nurse injector and welcome to my channel where I'll be teaching you how to become an aesthetic nurse. I've been in the aesthetics industry for over 10 years when I was 16, I started to work for an oculoplastic ophthalmologist. And the way I actually got into that is that my dad's an OR nurse and one of his friends turned out to be a plastic surgeon and heard that I wanted to get my foot in just working. And honestly, I didn't care what it was, but I just wanted to work. So then there I was going to the hospital for an interview that I later found out was gonna change my whole entire life. So we go there, I go to the interview, and literally the only reason I was even hired was because I spoke Spanish. So then during this time, I was in a magnet school for emergency medical services. So during that time and working, I really didn't know what else I was doing, just that I was gonna be doing something in medical. I graduated high school, I graduated as an EMT, and then doing so, I really wanted to do something in nursing since my dad already set that foundation on for me. So doing so, I applied for nursing school, I got in, and a coworker of mine actually applied at the same time that I did, and we got into nursing school together. She was later telling me, hey Alexis, why don't we become aesthetic nurses? And I was like, what is that? Later on, I was talking to my doctor about it, and I worked my way up from being a file clerk to being his personal assistant during getting Botox ready, getting the fillers ready, even during procedures like under eye procedures, eyelid procedures, I'd be helping him out. During nursing school, I started to build my social media page and it was directed more for nursing students. This really opened up a lot of opportunities with me. I was able to have brand collaborations with NRCNG, which is now nursing.com, and as well with different other companies like Latina RN. Fast forward to my last semester of nursing school, I had in mind what I wanted to do, and I was gonna be working at a hospital, and then from time to time doing aesthetics. So during that time, I applied to the hospital of my dreams for the unit of my dreams. And I was so excited that I got the job right as being a new grad or not even graduating yet. And moving a little bit forward, I really postponed my aesthetics. I wasn't doing much with it. I was intrigued with it, but that was it. So I passed my NCLEX, did the whole shebang, and I started working on bedside. You guys, it was such a rude awakening for me. The healthcare as we know nowadays really has shifted, which is why a lot of people, such as yourself, is watching this video today because you want to become an aesthetic nurse the same way I wanted to. After I left bedside, I felt really lost because that's it, that's what I wanted to be. I was in the neural stroke unit, I was in the hospital of my dreams, I was helping people out, but I was just not happy. And sad to say, my license was at risk because of the unsafety environment that I was at, placed at. I immediately started looking at other job opportunities. I applied for a surgery center that the doctor that I used to work for he still did surgeries there. And right away I was hired because of my prior background in basically plastic eye surgeries. So I was still being exposed to the aesthetics even though I wasn't really face to face with it as often. I would be talking to the other doctors there and they were like, hey, you know, come on in when we have plastic eye surgeries, you can see how we do them. I'm like, okay, awesome. I need to go ahead and be doing this. So then if I was done pre-opping, pack you and all that, I'd still be doing that. But I still felt something was missing. So during this time, I took it to do research on aesthetic courses because I needed to do something for myself. And bam, I wasn't lost. I was forgotten. I remembered what was the reason that I was doing any and all of this. So I still was at my surgery center because I love the medical aspect of being a nurse, but the whole aesthetic version of it 
just opens up a whole new passion for me that I already had. So after doing careful research, I found the aesthetic course that I wanted. It was a two day course. It was a comprehensive course. That being said, it was neuromodulators such as Botox and Dysport and Dermo fillers as well. And it would just be in the basic areas. Basic areas is just gonna be cheeks and it's gonna be lips as well. It's usually when they get you started with. The course itself was about 4,700. So I'd rather be telling you the price so you guys can be well aware of what your investment is going to be. Because yes, even though aesthetics is something very glamorous to be a part of, it's also basically a part where you need to be investing a lot of yourself in your education. Because just this one course isn't going to cut it. It's usually going to be a multitude of classes and education, whether it's being here, wherever you're from, if it's going to be online, or if you even have to fly out of the country, which there's a lot of courses that do that. Let's fast forward to about a week or so before the set of course. I was looking up their social media. I was looking at the other teachers, the med spas, literally everywhere. I started to follow them. Doing this really helped me out a lot because some of these med spas, some of these injectors started to follow me back. And if you guys are interested in that, I can go ahead and put up a video as to how to build up your social media, whether it's Instagram, TikTok. I started off with Instagram because that's usually where all the other injectors would be. So that way when you're ready and you're prepped, you already have a pretty good following as well as it's another way of having a resume. And that's one of the things with aesthetics, you guys. It's not just a paper resume. They also look at your social media as well. Okay, now finally, it's the day of the course. You guys, I am a very nervous wreck. I am very to myself, I'm very shy, but I told myself, girl, you better flaunt it. Like it's now or never. I really wanted to go ahead and promote myself and market myself, even though I was a brand new nurse, first of all, and very brand new to the injections of me actually performing them. Cause my whole entire life, I was prepping the patients, but I really didn't get to perform these procedures on them. First day comes, right? And we're doing an icebreaker conversation starter. We're all going around and we have to say our name and our background. I kid you not, I was sweating buckets. Well, if I could, I really can't sweat, but that's besides the point. So then it was my turn. I was sitting more towards the back and I didn't know that Right behind me were all the nurse trainers and injectors. I, I thought I was the last person. So I go there and I'm like, hi, my name's Alexis. I'm a new grad nurse. I work for an oculoplastic ophthalmologist, basically my whole spiel. And I started hearing little chattering in the background. I'm like, oh my goodness, did I mess up? Like what happened? And I didn't know what was going on until everybody finished. Then we started to go ahead and practicing on our models. There was this one injector who I just was obsessed with. The vibe she gave, the way she had her aesthetic eye and how she taught, literally best teacher ever, which fast forward, she turned out to be my boss now. After I had finished one of my models, I went ahead and I started to see my other friends that I made there and just try to make as many connections, whether they were students or injectors. So I was going ahead and taking pictures of the other injectors and they were doing the same for me. And then at one of those moments, I was stopped by one of the injectors and she was so, so sweet. I honestly love her. I still am in communications with her, even though she's not here in Las Vegas. She was telling me that they were really surprised with my background of being so young in the aesthetics field and having to know so much already. At this point, she was telling me, hey, you know, can we have connections with your doctor since he's an oculoplastic ophthalmologist? So the reason they were asking this is because people that have under eye filler, they're at a great risk of becoming blind if the injectors doesn't place the filler properly. Therefore, this is minutes that the filler needs to be expelled out of there or else they can be permanently blind. Hence why they wanted to have that connection with my doctor. I'm over here, I'm just networking left and right, trying to have everybody's connection because the aesthetics industry is very, very small. So you really wanna be nice with everybody because you don't know if that person can just make or break your whole 
what's supposed to be a career before it even starts. At this time, I was still working at my surgery center. I didn't know really how to start about being an aesthetic nurse. I just knew I took the course, but that was it. So I started to do research on how to build my resume. I did follow all these injectors and I was in communications with them here and there, but not as frequently. Just a little double tap, a little heart here, a little heart there. So during this time, I was also watching videos on YouTube. I was looking on Indeed for any job opportunities, as well as how I said and mentioned prior, all the men's spas, usually they post on their social media when they're gonna be hiring. And it's not just like other jobs where you just go on Indeed. You literally have to look everywhere for an aesthetic nurse job. So you guys, I was so desperate. I was looking high and low for aesthetic jobs. And then I got a DM from a med spa. And you guys, when I tell you trust your gut, you trust that lonquita. I do not care. You trust it. This med spa messaged me two weeks later, you guys, was shut down for illegal activities. I wanted to work for aesthetic nursing and all that, but not that bad that that was going to happen. So always trust your gut. I get a message and it's one of the injectors that I trained with and she wanted to know more about social media but I told her hey you're doing really good don't put so much pressure on yourself and she said hey I'll help you out on aesthetic nursing if you help me out with social media I said bet let's do this so time was time and she gave me tips and tricks and with her own mess boss, she was trying to talk to them, put in a good word for me, just so I can apply or even have an interview. Cause that's it. After that, I'm set. I was also going on LinkedIn. I was messaging different med spas, literally everything, anything that I can do. So fast forward, it's been, I don't know, like five months, nothing at all. Then I start talking to one of the reps and I told her, hey, do you know of anywhere that's applying? Because you guys, reps are your best friends. They know. So she didn't have anything in mind, but she said that I can do free CEUs. So please get your reps information. So that way you can go ahead and get these free CEUs. You can get free training online that literally it's right there for you guys. Then I go and I talk to the doctor that I used to work for in oculoplastics and I told him how discouraged I felt. He's like, Alexis, what are you doing? You can just rent one of my rooms. I was like, oh my goodness, this is perfect. I'm gonna do this. Even though I'm brand new, I can totally do this. I'll start building up my clientele. I need to go to see what do I have to do basically get done because each state law is different. I really recommend what you do is go on AMSPA. They have all the state regulations that you need to follow per if you're going to, I don't know, Texas, to Nevada, to California. They have everything there for you. I'm here, I'm building up my LLC, my husband's helping me out, my family's super excited, but it is so nerve wracking because I'm brand new. What is a brand new person gonna be doing opening up their own little mini med spa? It was pretty crazy, you guys. I get a text from my reps and she's like, hey, are you still interested in working for somebody else? I said, well, yeah. I get a job opportunity, go to the interview, I get an offer letter. The next day, I get another med spa that DM'd me that wants me to work with them. I go to that interview. Another day goes by and another injector has said, hey, apply here, let's do it. And that same injector was actually one of my trainers in my prior, the one that I did. At this point, I have three offer letters and I have to pick, which by the way, you guys, I get really nervous in picking. So what I did, I did my pros, my cons of everything talking to my husband left and right, talking to my mom, my dad, literally everybody, trying to see what was gonna be the best outcome. And I went with the med spot that I did while still working at my surgery center. So we were doing this for a couple months now. I was so ecstatic, I was so happy that I was doing more additional training that they provided, and then I started on my own. Now that I started on my own, I was able to pick up and basically make my own portfolio. So I did my own befores and afters. I messaged the clients and I said, hey, is it okay if we can go ahead 
and post these. You always wanna get permission. And if your clients don't feel comfortable, I would recommend either going to Vanessa Lee. She has a amazing podcast. She has amazing consultations as well as her psychology behind aesthetics is beautifully done where she teaches you how to go ahead and have the clients agree to having these befores and afters. Now, because I was working for this med spa, I did tell my doctor, hey, you know, thank you so much for the opportunity, but I am starting to work. He was happy for me. While I was building my portfolio, other med spas started seeing the potential in me and were reaching out, but I was just not ready to move to another med spa. Until, lo and behold, my injector that I was obsessed with, she had reached out and said, hey, are you interested in working here? I'm like, yes, that's the med spa of my dreams. That injector literally taught me so well and I just vibed immaculate with her. She literally, freaking chef's kiss to her. At this time now, I'm at the med spa that I'm obsessed with. She sees my portfolio and even though I've already been trained and I've already been learning myself, she wanted to go ahead and retrain me. So we're doing one-on-one, -on -one. we're relearning how to be doing a lot of things and for me, that's perfect because I was really nervous on some things still. Saying I was excited, it literally was an understatement. All that hard work, that time, that dedication literally paid off to finally where I'm at now. So if anything, you guys literally do not give up. Is it hard? Yes. But then everybody would be able to do it. Aesthetic nursing is not as easy as it seems. There's so much more behind it. Yes, it's going to be giving you a time or a break from the bedside but if you really want to be a good aesthetic nurse that time that dedication the psychology behind it you really want to be very passionate about this which is how i'll be helping you guys but that is it thank you so much for watching my video i really do appreciate it please like and subscribe and any comments questions or concerns literally feel free to reach out on my social media i'm usually on instagram but till then bye